All right, once we have this text animation, I will right click, new, and select a new shape layer. Now I have this shape layer and I'll also pre-compose it because I want to work within another composition. So pre-compose and call it mask revealer. Okay, you don't have to use caps lock, don't worry. I go into the mask revealer. Okay, what do we have here now? I want to create a new shape. So take your rectangle tool and make a big shape like that. It doesn't really matter how big, it has to be big. Okay, I make it even bigger and all right. Select this shape layer, click on the rectangle tool and select the second tool here now. Tool creates mask. I would like to use the ellipse tool now and create an ellipse mask. So I'll press my shift key and create a mask like that. Or as I see, this should be even bigger. Click on the shape layer, double click on it and make it bigger. Okay, and to the left side. Click on the shape layer, click on the circle Remember to click this button because normally it would create a shape, but you want to create a mask. Boom, a mask, and with the shift key, create a mask like that. Now you may not see what's happening here, but uh, let me take it into the screen. You see, this is a big white mask. Now I'll double click on the mask because it appears it could be placed better and it still can be bigger. Okay, is this enough? Perfect. Reveal the mask and use mask feather. I'll feather the mask out to about, you see, that's why this object needed to be so big, because even with the feather, this shape layer has to be bigger than that. Okay, perfect. Now we have the mask feather set to 500 pixels and I'll take this shape layer and place it on the left side. You need to make, so this, this little object will fade into the screen. There are so many ways of doing this. For example, you can take this anchor point, press Y on your keyboard, take the anchor point, now click on this shape layer and press S. If you would make a scale animation, it would slowly fade and reveal into the screen. But I want to take a different approach, but the scale seems really promising, but you can also do it like that, if you want to be a bit more professional and advanced. Right click, new, and select nil object. This nil object, take the move tool and place it here on the bottom. Now select shape layer and tell it shape layer, this nil object is your parent, you have to obey him. Okay, by obeying I mean pressing on the nil object, pressing R like rotation and having fun with the rotation. You see now the rotation, it appears isn't so perfect, so you need to animate this. Click a stopwatch here, oh this keyframe should be at the beginning, at the very beginning, and going maybe one second forward, the rotation should be like that. And now the scale I see should be, okay, now it covers the entire screen, does it? If not, just take it, take the selection tool and adjust it so it covers the entire screen. Now we have it, oh the rotation should be stronger, at the beginning, delete this keyframe, should be negative amount, because you can't see it on the screen. It has to come in and reveal the screen. And this is why we use white color. Okay, you've done your revealer. Your animation should look like that. Perfect, I really like this animation. And now, close everything down and on the reveal, you see this ugly reveal comes in. But actually, you want this mask revealer to have to be a track mat. So you need to select change text here, you need to select track mat, and you need to select alpha inverted mat. Once again, everything what alpha mat or luma mat and what overall track mats are is explained in my bigger course of After Effects, so I'll not explain it right now, but let's just head over and select alpha inverted mat. Then take the second layer and place it a bit forward. You see the text is revealed like normal, but then again, an animation happens and this animation hides this text and this will be perfect because this entire animation will reveal the video we want to use. This lesson is a tiny bit more advanced so if you don't know anything about After Effects don't worry you will slowly learn those things. For now you just have to know that a mask is something that can reveal another layer. 
we created here a custom mask, we created an animation, and we use this animation to reveal our screen. And that's what all After Effects transitions, video transitions are about. So one video goes to another video, and this is all made with reveals, masks, transitions. This all falls into this one category, and you need to know a little bit about this in order to make such animations. Okay, we have the beautiful reveal. I really do like how it flows into the screen. It nicely fades out the text, it isn't too strong. So let's head over to the next lesson where we'll add some coloristic and overall adjustments and we will follow through with this animation.